Hey guys, what is up? Dave coming back to you with another video slash maybe podcast. Depends on how long I can talk to myself because I still haven't had the balls to walk up to any of my friends or text any of my friends and be like, hey, you want to try to start a podcast? I've told some, I've told one friend about it and I've told my girlfriend about the idea. Um, and both of them were on board and liked the idea, but I couldn't tell if they'd want to actually be on a podcast it seemed like my friend Haley was up more for it than my girlfriend but that's just because of the type of person she's she is she's outgoing when to get to know her but uh not as far as uh <laughs> when you first meet her she's pretty quiet but she's got the same sense of humor I do she's got the same uh humor as I do and that's what I just said twice oh my god so you know let's get into why I'm making a video today of all days since I've been kind of not on a schedule of uploads um every year I try to make a video on my birthday I just it doesn't matter if I have something to make a video of or not it's just something I do normally I have some like big reveal thing that I do through uh you know, maybe a game mod or a game release or uh, something like that. I always have something that I try to release on my birthday, but right now I don't have anything. Um, I just don't. I mean, I haven't had time to do anything with combat arms. I haven't had much time to do anything with 1320. I haven't had much time to do anything with... Uh, the uh, racing game I'm making in Unity. I'm just too busy with the house stuff. The house is crazy. I still need to get a fridge. I still need to get a stove. I still need to uh, get a washer and a dryer. Uh, luckily, I have a lot of clothes. And, you know, us men, we like to take our underwear very seriously. JK. <laughs> but, uh,. No, I'm not wearing the same underwear over and over. We've been going to laundry mats. I'm not wearing the same clothes over and over. We're going to laundry mats, I promise. But uh, I don't have anything for my birthday this year that would be like a release that would be worthy of it. Um, I wanted to come into the combat arms section of MPGH and just see if there was anything that was worth talking about. But there isn't there's nothing to talk about that I have. Um, the only thing that I can think of is I am officially going to be redoing the 1320 Challenge website again. Again, um, I kind of made this official on my end because just nobody moved over to the forum. I mean, people on Discord, y'all complain a lot. Oh, I can't find these ratios. Oh, I need this. Oh, I need that. I gave you a way to get that stuff. Gave you a way to share that stuff none of y'all used it so uh i do understand that the forum idea was a little broken just because there's no way to hook your 1320 challenge account to the actual uh game itself or your 1320 challenge game account to the forum and that's something i eventually want to get taken care of i want to find a way to uh you know have them both combined just like it's supposed to be but as of right now there's just not a way for me to do that because i don't have access to the database and the logins and all that of 1320 challenge and i'm not about to hack the game that liquid is making basically for all of us that he's put in so much time and effort into i'm not doing that um <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, what else did I think about today? Uh, I don't know. I need to find a way to get this website set up. I need to figure out how I want to do it. I don't think I want to go back to WordPress. I'm going to do just something simple that's like tutorial pages. Just single page basic website. Informative, and that's it. If we eventually go with a web shop of some kind, I'll do it through Shopify. Uh... But even then, I don't want to profit off of this. This isn't worth profiting off of. Um, taking money from you guys. We already did that, and it we got hurt because of it. The entire community did. We all got burned. Um, 
But again, it's just it is what it is. So 1320 Challenge is here to stay, and it's very easy to run the game yourself with the files once uh if I guess I should say if Liquid um ever wants to open source it after, you know, some time of the game running under us. But as of right now, uh the game's running well. We got pink slips and bracket fixed. Well, I shouldn't say we, I should say liquid. Uh, pink slip and brackets racing is fixed. Uh, there was an issue, but it says uh, with like bracket breakouts or something like that, and that's been fixed. Um, other than that, 1320 Challenge is running really well. Teams are added, but only admins can make teams at the moment, as far as that goes. And then... Uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it for 1320 Challenge. I don't really know much else of what's going on behind the scenes. Um, because for some... Well, I'm not going to get into that. But, uh... Yeah, and then other than that... Uh, I bought myself some Pokemon cards. I already opened the packs. I haven't looked through them, but they're all pretty shitty packs. I already know, because... For those of you who don't know Pokemon cards very well... There's a way you can actually tell once you open the pack if you got a really good pack or a really bad pack. So they come with these cards that are code cards for the Pokemon trading card game online. And they're so you can get your pack in the game. So if you get a good pack with a good rare, they're going to be this white colored card. If you get a shitty pack that's just basic rares, it's going to be a green backed card. But, uh, I'm going to go through and tell you guys what I got. So, first one's obviously greenback, like I told you. Make the rare last. Let's see, I got... These packs are Steam Siege, Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Uh, so, I don't actually remember which is which one lined up here. But, you know, whatever. So, I got Machoke, Slowbro, Watchdog, or Watchog... Alolan Vulpix, which is a really cool Pokemon. Slowpoke, Machop, Helio, Helioptile. Again, also, I haven't really paid attention to Pokemon since, like, uh, well, for a, it's been a long time. So a lot of these new Pokemon, I don't know how to say their names because I don't watch the show anymore or play the games anymore. But I did just get a Nintendo Switch, and uh, we got Let's Go Eevee. Um, we're going to get Let's Go Pikachu, so I can play Let's Go Pikachu. My girlfriend's going to play Let's Go Eevee, um, and go from there, because that'll be a lot of fun. And if I can eventually get a way to stream that to YouTube and actually play it that way, I definitely will, because let's be real, all us Pokemon fans have been waiting for an HD game. Um, but Murkrow, then I got a Reverse Rare, Polyatoad. And a non-hollow Lilligant with an energy at the end. So that's shitty. My house smells like dog shit. The dog pooped somewhere. Great. Let's see what the next pack is here. So I got Dartrix Great Ball Trainer card. I don't know how to say the name of that. Growlithe. Alolan Meowth. Dewpiter. Alolan Diglett. Jesus, I can't talk today. I don't know how to say that one either. And then a reverse rare pincer and a non hollow Stoutland. I don't know what that is. Never heard of that Pokemon in my life. Let's see. Final pack here, because I only bought three, because I don't think a lot of you guys are Pokemon fans. Um, Gardevoir Spirit Link, which is a trainer card. I do got Duat. Klefki, fucking hate that Pokemon. Nidoran, Nosepass. What the hell is with Pokemon? Like, there is a Pokemon that's literally a nose. Hoppip, Meowth, Clauncher, Fungus, which is kind of cute, which is a reverse rare, and a non hollow Spiritomb. Huh. Those were some shitty packs. I shouldn't have even bothered. But uh, actually, they were free, so I can't complain. But I have a 36-pack box of Forbidden Light, which is guaranteed to give me some good shit. 
So if you guys want a podcast slash video of my girlfriend and I going back and forth, um, opening up the packs, and like an above view so you guys can see what we get, um, let me know because I'm down to do card opening videos and things like that because I love this shit. I have a 15 gallon tote box full of cards. Like, it would probably be a three or four hour video for me to go through every card that I have. It's ridiculous. Like, my computer desk right now is just covered in cards. Like, here, I'll just read off cards that are on my desk. Because I just got shitty stuff, so I don't want to end this off on shitty cards, you know? Um, come on. So... In one little swipe across my desk, I just grabbed a Switch Trainer card, a Nidorino, Pidgeot, Spirit Link, Voltorb, Weedle, Ratatata. Ratatata, is that how you're supposed to say it? Tangela, Reverse Rare Porygon, a Non Hollow Beedrill, Poliwag, Gardevoir, Spirit Link, Duo. Oh, wait. I already went through those. And then there is a Full Art Sol Solgaleo GX. I think I'm saying that Pokemon's name right. I don't know. Um, and when it comes to me and trading cards, I used to buy way too many of them. I finally stopped. My addiction is slowing down. Sort of. Um, <laughs> we're going to go with sort of on that. I'm going to put these cards in here for now. Actually, this box might be perfect. Do they, they do not freaking fit. Damn it. Well, they fit this way, so that's good enough for me. Let's clean off my desk here and let's see what Pokemon I find. That's my external hard drive. That's the audio cable. Oh, there's Yu-Gi-Oh cards on my desk. Let's see. What do I got? Like I said, I have a problem. What do I got Yu-Gi-Oh wise here? Let's see. I got a next spell card. I got Renji, Gatekeeper of the Dark World. Gravitic Orb. Wind Rose, the Elemental Lord, which is a... I don't know the rare types anymore. There's too many rare types. I just realized I have you guys just scaring, staring at the screen. Um, this is a better screen. So like I said, this is more like a podcast than anything, but I'm doing them as video format because I haven't yet signed up for like a podcast program, so to speak. And I'm not going to ever do the podcast live because I just... Well, I might. I shouldn't say never, but that'll be a long time out. Um, Noble Knight Brothers, Phantom Cricket, Ryu Kaijin Clown, Dragon Rage, Nobleman of Extermination. I don't know how to say that card's name. Deathrook Archfiend, Contract with Exodia, Nulga, Ojama Green, Guardian Bow, Ojama Trio, Checkmate, Dark Scorpion, Check, Chick the Yellow and Shadow Knight Archfiend. So there's a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards on my desk that nobody should care about. Um, let's see, there's some computer parts on my desk. Ooh, there's a lot of Pokemon cards on my desk. Oh, let's have some freaking fun. Let's read this shit out. Why is deodorant on my desk? That can go away. That's weird. Um, let's have some fun. Reading off these. I did not know all these were on my desk. Holy shit, there's a lot of cards. They were underneath some stuff. Um, let's see, I got Larvitar, Vullaby, Min Minxino, I got a reverse rare reverse hollow Lucario, Mothim, Slowpoke, and Energy. I don't know what kind of energy that is. Stantler, Morty. Trainer card, Carbink, Poplio, Spinarak, Ninkata, Blitzel, a Hollow Dialga, Serena, a uh, Hollow Serena, Ash's Pikachu, uh, Chinchow Reverse Art, uh, Charge a Bug, um, Rotom decks, fucking Rotoms. Nest Ball. Togemaru, I think is how you say that. Shelter. Uh, 
I don't know how to say that one. Firo, Grubbin, Reverse Art, or Reverse Hollow Eevee, Fire Energy. I got a Whitney, a Flaffy, a Kaili, Ka I think. Blitzel, Slowpoke, Bruxish, Larvitar, Carbank. That's a different Carbank. Reverse Art, Hoppip, or Reverse Hollow Hoppip. Water Energy, Lampin, Pseudo Wudo. I can do, uh, I used to do some voice acting for a different YouTube channel. I don't remember the name of the YouTube channel anymore, but I used to do voice acting for it. And what I used to do was a lot of South Park characters and a lot of cartoon characters. I don't have a pop filter, uh, as you can probably tell, for my uh, Yeti mic, so I can't really do impressions. And I don't really know how well they come across over microphone because, you know, to me, and in person, a lot of my friends say, oh my god, those impressions are so good. And then, you know, I try doing them over a microphone and they sound like trash. Like, it's one of the reasons the open mic night that I go to, I never sing. I don't sing at the mic nights because I hear myself through the amp and there's a sl ever so slight delay. And my ears pick up on that delay of the sound coming out of the speakers versus me saying them or singing them and I just can't do it like I don't know how to ignore the speakers when I'm singing through a microphone I used to be insanely good at it I used to be able to do it I used to do karaoke all the time but I just can't do it anymore I need to eat something holy shit I got a field blower let's go back to Pokemon cast form as you can tell I have ADHD um Gothita Pat Rat, Carvana, I think, Cottony, Barboach, Oriseo, Bent Spoon, Zygarde, Chaos Tower, Snivy, and Coughing. So, nothing but garbage on my desk. That's not abnormal. Are these all fit in here? Holy shit, they're all gonna fit. That is like perfect. Maybe. Do they fit? Oh, they all fit in this box. That is literally perfect. Slick. Put those in there, because those are garbage. Um You know, I got a lot of crap on my desk. Holy shit. Uh my computer is actually not where it's supposed to be. It's up on my desk because I need to take it apart and replace two fans. One of my fan blades is broken, and the other fan, uh, the ball bearings are going bad, so it doesn't spin right. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really... I don't know. I don't really have much else. I don't know how to do this stuff yet. I know I should write down, you know, bullet points or something for myself and just be like, hey, hit this subject, this subject, and this subject. And I feel like it'll be a lot easier with friends, too, because I can just tell them, hey, go ham. If you want to bring up a subject or a memory or a story, just tell it. Or, like, you know, one of my friends that I know well, I could always just look at and be like, dude, tell that one story on the podcast or something like that, and, you know, we can go from there. But I just... I don't know how to do this shit yet. <laughs> this is still a new idea for me. I'm going off of other people's ideas again, as usual. I'm not making anything of my own, but uh, I don't know. It's a fun idea that I want to try, and you, you can't really say you failed at something if you don't try it at least once. Um, the other thing that I wanted to touch on is there's always that Florida man joke, and since today's my birthday, we might as well have the fun with the meme. Florida man April 25th let's see what do I get for Florida man here Florida man said he stalked family to make friends uh, Florida man was rescued after trying to ride a hamster ball to where Ride a hamster ball to the Bahamas deputies deputies say that's nothing Florida Man Challenge. List of Florida Man stories by date. Somebody had a good idea for a website here. Oh, God. What is that? Florida Man January, March, April. Let's see. Is there anything? Nothing 25th on here. Oh, Florida Man. Why Google Search Challenge has gone viral. 
Florida man attempts kayak escape charged with boating under the influence, I'm guessing. Under the... Uh, let's see. Can I go next page here? Let's see. <laughs> Florida man buys pancakes, eats them in city crosswalk. Huh. Um, Florida man stalked family to make friends. Florida man rescued after trying to ride inflatable bu bubble to Bermuda. It's probably that same story. Florida man kisses venomous snake and it's immediately bitten. How the hell is Reddit not working? Give me fucking Reddit. Thanks. Um, Florida man kisses venomous snake and is immediately bitten on the lip. That sounds about right. Florida man, 25, lured 17-year-old girl from Texas to his house. Oh. We're going to skip that one. Um, let's look up f fun facts by birth day. I wonder if I just do like April. Let's see if we can start a new meme. History facts and trivia. Fun facts for April 25th. I'll do my year. Here you go. We'll go with this one first. April 25th, 1991. Growth Building Foundation. Great. So, fun... Oh, fuck off. Can I get rid of this? Or is it covering the whole page? It's covering the whole page. You literally can't see anything on the website unless you disable your ad blocker. That is absolutely stupid. Alright, whatever. Um. So, what day might... It was Thursday. Jesus. No. How do I get rid of you? Thank you. Go away. What day is April 25th this year? Oh, gee, I wonder what day it is this year. It's a Thursday. <laughs> Your first one billionth second will happen sometime on January 1st, 2023. So I'll be alive for a billion seconds on January 1st, 2023. How old am I in dog years? Um... Uh, it depends on the breed. A dog's first human year is equal to 15 dog years. So I'd be ex I'd be old as shit. Which celebrity shares my birthday? Kenneth Lee Spencer, Mort Weisinger, Ella Fitzgerald, Denny Miller, Peter Jurassic, Ron Clements, Bruce Redman, James Stacy Barber, Jason Wiles, and Daniel McPherson. This is the only person I recognize. Um, who are the famous April 25th birthdays? Ernest Webb. Corin Tellado. Godfrey Milton Thompson. Paul Mazursky. Bruce Ponder. Mike Sylvie. D'Angelo Williams. I don't know the rest of them. What happened on my birthday, April 25th? Highwayman Nicholas J. Pelletier becomes first person executed by guillotine. I actually already knew that. Um, we took these things in high school around Valentine's Day that were facts for your birthday. And it also like matched you up with people in the school based on a 10 question thing. They were really freaking stupid. Um, I actually had a girl dump me because we didn't end up on the on each other's list. How stupid is that? She dumped me because we weren't on each other's list. We were together for like six months at that point. Um, Easter Rising, the United Kingdom declares martial law in Ireland. 
Liberation Day in Italy, the Nazi occupation army surrenders and leaves northern Italy after a general partisan insurrection by the Italian resistance movement. The puppet fascist regimen dissolves and Benito Mussolini is captured after trying to escape. This day was set as a public holiday to celebrate liberation of Italy. Huh, that's pretty cool. The Korean War. Assaulting Chinese forces are forced to withdraw after heavy fighting with the United Nation forces. Primar primarily made up of Australian and Canadian... Ch Can Canada will get mad? Canada has troops? Isn't Canada like the A? Eh, sorry, people. We don't know what we're doing, eh? Isn't that just... Don't they just apologize for everything? And then Australia, what did they do? Just send a bunch of kangaroos? I don't freaking... This is stupid. Um, I don't believe that. There's my mailman. Did I get anything today? Somebody give me money. <laughs> Let's see. The first practical solar cell is publicly demonstrated by Bell Telephone Laboratories. That's pretty cool. Something techie in there for my techie self. Carnation Revolution, a leftist military coup in Portugal, overthrows the fascist Estado Novo Regiment. I butchered that. It establishes a democratic government. Probably doing better than ours. Let's see. American schoolgirl Samantha Smith and was invited to visit Soviet Union by leader Yuri Antropov after he read her letter in which she expressed fears about nuclear war. That's pretty cool. Maswati III is crowned king of Swaziland, Swaziland seceding after his father. In Israel, John Jemjuk Demjemjuk I don't freaking know, is sentenced to death for war crimes committed in World War II. And then riots break out in Baltimore, Maryland, following the death of Freddie Gray in police custody. Huh, cool. What does my birthday mean? My birthday has a freaking meaning? What? Your birthday number is 4, 25, and 1991. Gee, you wouldn't have said. You wouldn't have guessed. Um, reveal that your life path is number 4. Why? All they did was just count the months. Oh, February 25th. Would my life path be two? It represents growth, building, and foundation. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing I'm good at. Um, the following celebrities have the same life path number. James MacArthur. Steve-O? Okay. I'm okay with that. Does that mean I'm going to be nuts and by 30 start doing a lot of hardcore drugs because I only got like a year and a half two years left um I don't recognize the rest of those what is my horoscope <laughs> the horoscope this is some shit I don't believe in uh let's see yeah I don't care about that what is the birthstone diamond cool no wonder I like collecting them in minecraft Although sapphire, diamond, sapphire, and opal. Okay, cool. Birth flower for 25th of April is the sweet pea. That's actually really interesting. Um, I would have, I didn't know that. What's really cool about that is my favorite scent is sweet pea. So like a uh, hand lotion, or I don't use any hand lotion personally, but um like hand lotion or one of my exes used to have a sweet pea perfume um that kind of stuff it's my favorite scent i love it anything sweet pea scented i love it i don't know why it just it's always been that way what is the love match for april 25th when it comes to love and a relationship you are most compatible with a person born on may 24th 1965 holy shit i'm going for older um, you have a love match capability score of 140. Imagine being in love with your soulmate. On the negative side, you are most incompatible with a person born on July 2nd, 2000. Okay, that wouldn't be illegal. They'd be 19. Got it. Um, I'll probably get along with the person born on July 2nd, 
2000, way better than the person born May 24th, 1965. Like, what the hell? I'm basically dating somebody that could be my mother at that point. That's ridiculous. You'll be like a cat and a dog in a love-hate relationship. Huh. April 25th birthday wish. Did someone send you this link? I had, No, I did it myself. What do you call a person who shares the same birthday? Birthday twins. That's really stupid. The population in the year of your birth was 5,371,585,922. I'm not listening to that. What were you in a past life? I do not know how you feel about this, but I was a goddamn chick in my last earthly incarnation. You were born somewhere around the territory of Yugoslavia, approximately on 1650. Uh, should there be a month and a day there? Your profession was a warrior, hunter, fisherman, executor of sacrifices. I doubt that. Um, your belief, your brief psychological profile in that past life. You were sane. That's different. Pra uh, practical person. Materialist with no spiritual consciousness. That's pretty true. I, if I want something, I buy it. I am a hoarder like you wouldn't believe. Um, I don't belong in the TV show Hoarders yet, but I definitely could see myself there by like 40. Um, and I also, I don't really have any spiritual connections. I don't have any religion that I do or take part in. I just sort of breathe and live. Your simple wisdom helped the weak and the poor. I do like helping people. If I could help people the same way Mr. Beast does, that would probably be one of the happiest things I could ever do in my life. Um, lessons that your past life brought to present. <laughs> your lesson to conquer jealousy and anger in yourself, then in those... Excuse me. I'm not editing this. Um, you should understand that these weaknesses are caused by fear and self-regret. I do not know who I was. How many babies were born on my birthday? 137 million babies were born in 1991. Estimated number of babies on the 25th of April is 375,000. So, I actually, I think I've met one person in my life that shared my birthday right down to the year, and they were within the same hour. Um, I don't remember the time off the top of my head, but I believe it was like, it was either 2 p.m. or 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Duh, p.m. afternoon, whatever. What is the popular baby name of the 25th of April in 1991? Ashley. 43,000 people named Ashley. Michael, 60,000. That makes sense. News headline for Florida... <laughs> Thanks. Uh, what's my bizarre Florida man story is breaking the internet and social media. Some crazy men, women, or creatures from the Sunshine State are making headlines every day of the year. Try this fun exercise. Uh, no. April 25th, 1991 birthday facts summary. Day index. 115th day of the year. It was a Thursday. My birthstone is Sapphire, week index 17th, Thursday of 1991. S next same calendar year is this year. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So I am literally 28 years old. Like, there's no questioning. I was born today. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Uh, day of the week this year, Thursday. Day of the week next year, Saturday. Day of the week in 2021, Sunday. Days until my next birthday. Well, duh, it's today. It's fucking zero. Current age. They should do something. Like, if they detect uh, zero, they should put parentheses happy birthday or something. Current age, 28. Days since birth, 10,227. Days spent sleeping. 
Definitely not that many. Um, years spent sleeping. It's probably actually more than that that I've spent sleeping. 9.3 years of time. Wow. That's a little crazy to think about. Um, part of life spent sleeping. A third. Full moon since birth. 347. Next full moon will be May 18th. First one billion second will be January 1st, 2023. Age in dog years is 162. Life path number is four. That doesn't mean anything. I'm a Taurus. Zodiac element is Earth. Cool, I'd be an Earthbender if this was Avatar. I'm pretty happy with that. Western Zodiac... Dude, I would love to be an Earthbender. And the reason I would love to be an Earthbender is because I could be fucking anywhere. And I could just be like... I want a BMX track right here and just be like, fuck it, here's a dirt ramp. Um, Western Zodiac sign equal, uh, quality is fixed. I don't know what that means. Western Zodiac ruling planet is Venus, the planet of love and beauty. I am one ugly motherfucker. Western Zodiac gemstone is sapphire. I'm okay with that. Eastern Zodiac symbol animal is sheep. Element is metal. It's a metal bender. Wasn't in Avatar The Last Airbender, Toph learned how to metal bend, didn't she? So did Aang. A modern birthstone is diamond. Mystical birthstone is opal. Birth flower, sweet pea. Best compatibility birthday. Yeah, no. Worst, probably. Um, <laughs> 1991 world population. already did that. Number one song. God, that's awful. I'm sad. Baby's born. Yeah, let's see what this gives me. Uh, 1644, the Chongzhen Empire, last empire of the Ming Dynasty in China, committed suicide during a peasant rebellion. 1719, Daniel Defoe's The Life and Strange Adventures of Robinson Crusoe, Crusoe was published. 1972... The guillotine was first used in Paris, France. 1859, ground was broken for opened for the open Suez 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 Canal. I know I learned about it, but I don't remember. A hundred mile canal between the Mediterranean and Red Sea opened ten years later. Uh, 1901, New York became the first U.S. state to require an, a driver's license plate. Cool. April 25th, 1926, Tiana turned into a frog, the Princess and the Frog Disney film. 1944, the United College Fund was incorporated. I'm not even taking a chance. Uh, actually, that's how you get famous. I should just make an entire live stream where I sit and say the N-word. Can you tell my sense of humor gets me in trouble? Um, 1947, President Harry Truman opened the two-lane White House bowling alley. My man opening up a bowling alley. Cool. I don't know anything else about Truman. Um, 1953, Francis Crick and James D. Watson published Molecular Structure of Nucleic Acids, a structure of deox... Right, but... Oh, DNA. Why couldn't they just say that? 1954, the first practical solar cell was demonstrated. Got that. 1960, number one hit on April 25th, 1960, was Elvis Presley's Stuck On You. That's a good song. I'm not an Elvis fan, but that's not a bad song. In 1961, the integrated circuit was patented. Awesome. Some techie shit for me. 1970, number one hit was the Jackson 5's ABC. Not my cup of tea, but I won't knock it. 1980, Nick Perry rigged the Pennsylvania Lottery's daily number drawing to only draw a 6 or 4, thus drawing 666. This would be known as the triple 6 fix. I like it. 1982, Israel completed the withdrawal from the Sinai Peninsula per the Camp David Accords. 1983, Pioneer 10 traveled beyond ex-planet Pluto's orbit. Awesome. 1985, the Broadway show Big River Musical debuted. 
1990, the Hubble Space Telescope was deployed in space from the Space Shuttle Discovery to orbit 381 miles above Earth. 1992, number one hit song was Criss Cross, Jump. I don't know if I know that one. 1992, Growing Pains and Who's the Boss aired their final episodes. Don't know either of those. 1996, Bring the Noise, Bring the Funk, musical. 1998, its number one hit was Next Too Close. I'd know it if I heard it, I'm sure. 2015, number one hit was Wiz Khalifa, See You Again. Uh, I went to see uh, Fast and Furious 7 by myself on my birthday, I believe, that year. And then... Some fictional stuff. The Flash disappears. Celebrity birthdays. Here's a bigger list. <laughs> Sarah Paxton. Matthew West. I don't recognize almost any of these people. A large circle of friends while others have only friends that they like. Uh, whatever. But yeah, you know, that's... That's pretty cool. I've been talking to myself for almost an hour. This really is a podcast. Uh, pretty cool. If you made it this far, thank you very much for listening, because I did not expect to make it this far. I know the first half of this was boring, but like I said, I need to learn how to do this shit, so give me a chance. I am definitely interested in doing more of these. I know I always say, oh, I'm going to try to do this once a week, and I never fucking stick to it. This is something that I'm going to force myself to... to, 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 to uh, I need a take two thingy. This is something I'm going to force myself to stick to, because... I mean... Yeah, it'll be fun. Um, I do, like I said, I want to get friends on here. I want to get... Uh, other people on here um i need to learn to use audacity for recording these instead and then just do like a video edit and find some animation and just play it through as the video if i want to keep putting these on youtube let me know what podcast services you guys use um i don't know if i want to look into apple or not i know apple would be the best way for me to grow it out uh but at the same time i don't know shit about apple Pro well I shouldn't say that. I know iOS very well, and I know how to fix shit. I don't actually know how to get, like, a podcast out there on Apple, iTunes, or uh, Google Music. It's pretty easy to put out a podcast. Uh, personally, I use an app on my phone for that called uh, Podcast Player. It's literally what it's called. Um... Cast box is what it's called. So I use that for my uh, podcasting and stuff like that for listening. So let me know what you guys use and I'll see if I can get it set up. I might also put a thing at the top of the website somewhere like here or something like that, like a podcast button so you can click it. and Maybe I'll put these on SoundCloud. That's a good idea. I could put these on SoundCloud as MP3 files. So let me know what you guys think, and we'll go from there. We'll see if we can turn this into something. Another fun thing that I want to do that I haven't really seen anybody else do when it comes to podcasting is have guests on, but guests that are far away. So, like, I would do a voice call with them and record the audio from them. Or, like, just... You know, maybe a random one of you from the YouTube comments. I'll just contact you and we'll talk for a minute. And if I think we could do a podcast together, we'll do an episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I definitely got to the length that I was hoping for. 45 minutes is what I want these to be. Um, But then I'll just go from there. I, I know you just basically stared at the screen for a really long time. I know the Pokemon part of this was probably boring. But if you made it this far... Let's say put a specific word in the chat. Or not the chat, the uh, comments. Um, let's say... Bubble tea. 
If you made it this far, put the word bubble tea in the comments. Yeah, I'm pulling that on you. I'm testing y'all motherfuckers to see if you made it this far. <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go hang out with some friends, get some food, enjoy my birthday. Hope I get a lot of free shots. No, that's a dick thing to say. I'm not hoping that my friends buy me tons of shots and kill me in my sleep. Um, <laughs> actually, that's another topic I'll have to talk about next time. Uh, a co-worker having a stroke. Yeah, that was an interesting time. I feel bad for the guy, and I hope he's doing all right still. But uh, I'll talk about that next time. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'm going to go have some fun for my birthday. Um, yeah, this, this has been fun. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.